Hi, it's me again with Corroda All Tips and Tricks, and this is part three and hopefully the last one. Make it look like it goes under. Could have done a little bit of a better job with some shadowing, but I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time. Hopefully it'll work out better, but we need to take a two point line and close off this part so we can smart fill it. And we're gonna take the smart fill tool Set on a kind of like a gray, we're gonna fill in all the parts, but the parts are separate still. So then we're gonna take the interactive fill tool and we're gonna go from, you know, don't start way down here, start like right in here and go up. And then we're gonna grab a darker color, darker black. And you could do this with colors. That may be a little bit trend too much so we can back off a little bit and just have it not so much. And then just do the, you know, this side and the interactive fill tool is pretty cool because when you start with it, you can start at a point and go downward. Well, we're getting the whole part. Uh, what we're going to have to do in this case is to move that over and draw a line to stop, stop it from uh, doing that. So now we need to take the smart fill tool and fill in that same spot. And then before I do anything else, I'd go and get the interactive fill tool and try to do this. And then it's going to be a little bit hard, but if you really watch your color, see we're a little bit dark. So if we go down here, or even go here, we can make that lighter. And then what I would do is take my line away and just kind of see what it looks like. Uh, well, we'll actually have to take the line back, take the smart fill tool. <clears throat> and there's a way to blend this kind of in a way that doesn't look too bad. Let's just take the line away and see what it looks like. That looks pretty good. So we need to do the same thing here. When you're using interactive fill tool, you need to click on your item that you're going to do it to. And I'm sure I could probably set this on a black, but I'm so used to just doing this and that's a little bit much. So you can always see if you come in and then you can move that slide bar. The other thing is kind of making a transparency of it, which wouldn't be a bad thing at all. And then we need to do this part right here and it's gonna to bleed too. So let's, let's take that and let's take a two point line and stop it. We can actually delete those two colors and we're not gonna need them anymore. And then use the smart fill tool to fill that in, get the interactive fill tool and go from the, you know, about midway point so it won't change the color too much. Get a black and then ease off that black. And, and you could spend a lot of time doing this and then take your smart fill tool again and fill that in and it appears that the parts are going under, under and over. We do have a line there. So let's try clicking on it and shift select that and combine them. Nope, that didn't work. It took away our interactive fill tool. There is a line there. It's a, a line that the tool was there. So one thing we could possibly do, let's try this. Let's try clicking on that item. And let's try moving it just a hair. There we go. I just moved it over. It didn't really change anything else and probably the same thing on this piece. We're gonna, we got a line there. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's take away all the line by right clicking. So we still have that white line. And let's see if we can't, you know what? Let's take the shape, let's take the shape tool and just kind of move that line over and you want to hold down the control button and make that perfect. Let's see if that didn't get rid of the line and it did. Now, let's group this together. Well, I actually need to do these two parts, but you you understand that this these two, well, let's just go ahead and do them. If you're uh, bored with the video, you can stop watching. I need to put my lines back, so let's back up to where we had lines. There we go. And let's take this away. Whoop. 
Take that away. Take that away. And let's use the two point, whoop, parallel dimension tool, two point line. And you could kind of do it at an angle, it doesn't have to be perfect. Take the smart fill tool, fill in those two spots. Take the interactive fill tool, go from there to there and change it to a black. Whoop. See, I had, for some reason, I had that other one picked. That's what I was saying. If you, you have to kind of pick that so it won't do that. And then let's get that black, move it over here. And that's probably going to cause a problem with the blending, but then pick, make sure you, it's almost better to pick it with the pick tool and then get the interactive fill tool. I have it, I'm not a big uh, color guy, so I don't get to do this really too much. Um, so if it doesn't look perfect, uh, maybe you can do a little bit better job. We need to leave those lines there and get, now get the smart fill tool and fill that in and that in. That don't look half bad. Let's see what happens when we take away our lines. Whoop. Take away our lines, see if they're still there. Normally you can combine that and it all depends, you know, engraving that probably wouldn't cause a problem. But you can do the same thing with the shape tool to get rid of those lines. What we're doing is just kind of covering them up. But with the shape tool, you can actually move the nodes a little bit. You'd want to probably hold down the control button. Anyway, that looks pretty good. Then let's just get rid of these and do the same thing we did before. Control D, uh, excuse me, back up. Control G to group it, and then Control D to duplicate it, and then get that two point line while you're holding down the control button, and do that, grab all these, Control D, make a duplicate, get right in the middle, and then blend it down. Now we do have lines in the middle. Um, I think those are our lines from we had lines, so select everything and left click, no lines. We've got the same problem here because of the fact that it just, the, uh, the uh, hairline is that thickness, and you could actually do them at an angle, maybe they kind of blend better. We got a line in the middle. That's gonna be a little bit hard, possibly. Um, maybe not. Maybe it'll do the same thing. Yep, that looks fine. Anyway, that's a pretty cool design, uh, pretty simple. We've got, see from a distance, you can see that white line. So let's do one more just to make sure it worked. Because once you cover that up, it shouldn't show up. Shape tool is always the best because you're, you're only moving the end nodes and not the whole facet. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.